Hello, and welcome back to another video. So this is another part of my visual inventory, and today we're doing highlights. There's a whole bunch of other crap in here that I just put in here, but the rest of this is highlights. So I have sample highlights and full-size highlights, so let's get into it. Here are all of my highlighters. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven, twelve highlighters. So let's get into it. First, we're going to do the ones that I don't have to dip my fingers into. So I have the Nude Sticks Hey Honey. And it is something that I got in a set. I do not remember which set, but this is a little sample size. And I've always seen people like rave about this. And I always thought it can't be that good of a highlighter, not knowing that I had this shade because I never looked at the back to see what the shade was. So yeah, it is actually that good of a shade. And I really like it. Next we have the Milk Highlighter and Lit. And it's right here. This is also another little stick. I got this in a Christmas Sephora Favorites. It's in lit, if I didn't say it by the way. It's a nice icy color and I really like it as like just a solid illuminator. It doesn't really give me much color, nor does it give white cast. So I really like it. I had three of these at one point. <laughs> But um, I only have the one left. Next we have this Becca Liquid Highlight. And I got this in a set also. It's in the shade Passion. And it is very finicky. But a one drop goes a very long way. I don't even have to really squeeze it out. I just go like that and then that's the highlight. <laughs> um, because it's all over. So this is what it looks like. And it's very pretty. And Becca's going out of business, so I'm just gonna like stick with what I have right now and leave it at that. The next Becca product that I have is a full size highlighter because they were doing um, this half off during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. This is the shade Topaz. I want it Prosecco. <laughs> Alrighty then, so like I was saying, it's the shade Topaz, and I got it for half off, which I thought just getting any Becca highlighter would be great because I always wanted one when I would see people do their little collections. And since they're going out of business soon, I wanted to get one when I could. And that was just a perfect opportunity. So now I'm going to wash these swatches off. And off. So I'm going to wash these swatches. <laughs> so I'm going to wash these swatches off. And then we're going to continue. Love a tongue twister. <laughs> okay, so now we're moving on to these. I'm going to start off with my Good Sis Fenty and this is what it looks like. I got this in a set with the, um, the Stunna Lip Paint and Uncensored. Oh, this is upside down. Anyways, this isn't the best for me, so I would like get a different shade, but it was good to try the formula. So this is what they look like. Beautiful. Like see, it's quite light, but 
they're still nice. I really actually like the lighter one that's not as glittery. Um, it's a nice subtle highlight, but still, like I said, not for me. Although I do like that I got to try a duo instead of just like one of the shades. And then next we have this Wet n Wild um, highlighting powder because, oh, in the shade Royal Calyx. I got this from Dollar Tree because I always saw people saying that, ow. oh my god, my skin just got caught in that. But anyways, I always saw people saying that this was like such a good formula. It's not. It's so dry. Um, but it's not the bad kind of dry because clearly it looks dewy and glossy. And this is a nice blue shade that I don't have. So I have no problems with it. It's just that like I thought it'd be more creamy than powdery. But it works for what it works for. And I'm clearly going to have this for a long time. But um, not the best. But I only paid a dollar instead of how much this actually costs. So can't complain. And now um, my last two, these came from a 2017 advent calendar, so they're number one way past expired, and number two, probably not shades that actually exist. Um, this is the purple one. It is the shade Pop and Rock, apparently, upside down. Um, but it's the shade Pop and Rock. I rarely ever look at the shades, so that was a shock for me. Okay, now look at this one compared. Like, I love this purple and I actually would wear it with like normal looks too because it doesn't look as purple unless you layer it up if you take one little dab with your pinky and just go like tap it just leaves a nice sheen without it being like a stark white this is honestly one of the best highlighters that I have and that I will actually use on a daily basis even though it's purple and I probably can't get it ever again moving on and then this also, this came in a set of three. Well, not a set of three. It was an advent calendar. But there were three highlighters in there. And I don't have it anymore. It was pink. Like the monster shade I'm going to show you from ColourPop. But um, it's completely demolished and broken up. I'll probably like insert a video if I remember to do that. But anyways. Oh, this is the shade cinnamon spice and it really is a cinnamon spice this is a gold highlighter with a heavy green shift that i literally love i wore this on my graduation day like this is so nice it's beautiful it's on my thumb so that's a little awkward but look at that if you see my graduation vlog this is what i'm wearing like oh my god this is perfect and clearly I like weirder highlighters but this is like an everyday highlight for me even though it literally is green but it ties in with all of those like greeny gold looks so it's great that I have it so now I'm gonna clean off these swatches and then we're gonna get into these ColourPop ones so I saved the best for last these are the highlighters that I actually gravitate towards some more than others but let's get into it so we're going to start out with the least used which is parasol that you could not see <laughs> um this actually reminds me of the becca one like shade wise oh my god i love that i haven't touched these in a minute they're so soft um but yeah like look at that and these super shocks are like very um like wet and my skin is already oily so I already look very wet so generally I don't really need much but on my nose meaning I don't use a lot of this but I love it okay so then let's just do this here we have lunch money and this is like a cult popular shade but obviously amongst the fairer people I can use this, but it's more icy than needed. Because look at that. And I like icy shades, like I said, with the milk one. So this is good for me. 
but I wouldn't recommend this if I was recommending a highlighter to a person with darker skin that really wanted one for like every day all over and didn't like icy looks. Next we have the shade Monster. This was the first one I ever got and I specifically got it because it was pink. <laughs> so when I made my order on Ulta, my first ever order, order on um, Ulta, I got this because like I said, I had that, um, what was it, NYX one from the advent calendar, and it just wasn't doing it for me. So, so I got this one, and look at that, it's beautiful. And all of these are obviously wet looking because they're super shocks, and they just melt into the skin, so it just, it worked out better than the pink that I already had. So I decluttered that pink and it broke on me anyways. So bye-bye. And saving the best for last. So this is actually what I got, I think last, <laughs> like actually, um, because I got parasol because I got that for my cousin and I got lunch money because that's what everybody was talking about. And I think I got this last when I went to Ulta. And I literally, you see the indent right here? I literally go like this. And that's all that's needed. So look at that. Let's do it compared to parasol. Look at that. Beautiful. And it's a nice light gold, which is what I assumed the Fenty highlighter would look like. But like, just mm, look at that. So it's lighter than the parasol but a little bit darker than lunch money. And I highly recommend this to anybody my skin tone or lighter, I guess. Um, and it just, it works out so great. Look at how shiny those are. And that's why I saved these for last because the Super Shocks out of all of my highlighters are my favorites. Because not only about the method of application, but just the physical feeling of them, like, I've never felt anything like these highlighters. Like, the blushes are a lot tougher than this. The actual Super Shock shadows are wet, but, you know, they dry out eventually. These feel unreal, and I love them. This is in the shade Wisp, and it's my favorite. I didn't say it before, but yeah. Well, this video has now come to a close. If you would like to watch more videos like this, the entire visual inventory playlist will be linked down below. And there are more videos like this on my channel. So if you would like to like, comment, and subscribe and do all that good jazz, I will see you in another video. Bye.